So, next step in the process is to connect everything. So, what we want to do first is our keypads. We've got our keypads twisted together here, and as we said before, the Destiny keypads actually have six wires, unlike the Honeywell keypads that use just four. So, there are two for a speaker, and then four for the data and the power to the keypads. So we've got our six pairs here, and we're going to want to see where these are terminated at the keypad to make sure we land them in the right spot on the board. Once we twist all our pairs, then we can land them to the ECP terminals, terminals 4 through 7 on the Vista 21 IP board. You can see on the 21 IP we've got all our terminal screws along the bottom. They are all labeled. First two are AC. We've got bell uh, for the siren along with ground, auxiliary, green and yellow for the data um, for the ECP which is these four through seven and then it goes through the zone wire, zone connections. We have 14 zones from our old Destiny panel. Our 21 IP is an eight zone panel but what we're going to do is use some zone doubling to make use of the existing eight and turn them into a total of 15 possible zones so that we do not have to use any zone expansion boards or anything like that. Um, we're going to have to use new resistors. The resistor value on the old Destiny board is a different value than the one on the, what the 21 IP needs. 21 IP needs 2K resistors running series for each zone. So uh, we're going to have to take all the resistors off and connect them with the zone doubling resistors that comes with the 21 IP. We'll show that in a minute. So we've got our brand new Honeywell transformer. We've got our black and our red AC transformer leads. Just simply hook them a little bit and get it nice and tight with the screw. With these transformers, polarity does not matter. So uh, red and black can go to either terminal. You just want to make sure, obviously, that's one to one. And that when your screw is tied, tightened down, you've got good connection. and tight and we now have our AC power red and black connected. We do not want to plug it in quite yet. You always want to make your connections at the panel before you actually are going to plug the transformer in otherwise you're dealing with hot live wires over here and you may do damage to the board. So we've got our label showing transformer. It's black and the red that match again polarity does not matter so you've got our first two terminals labeled AC on our 21 IP again we got stranded wire here so we just want to twist these down so it's a nice clean connection into the uh, screw terminals because the transformer is not plugged in these wires are not live good to go you unscrew the terminal gives you a little bit of room underneath the metal bracket and the back of the terminal and then you just screw it down for a nice tight connection. We got our black negative connected and now our positive. So now we have our AC power wire good to go. Next one we're going to connect is our siren wire. For our siren we also have black and red. This time polarity does matter though. Twist our ends and so we've got terminal screw three is bell, four is ground. Ground is our negative uh, power terminal and this bell is our positive siren output. When the alarm kicks on or goes into alarm mode, 
gives voltage to this terminal which drives the power out to the sirens so that they can make the noise. Hopefully scare away the intruder. Let everyone know that uh, there's been a break in. So this is obviously for a wired siren. He's got an existing wired, a wired siren, uh, one upstairs, and then with the old Destiny, because the keypads were a siren themselves, that was the only siren he really had was the one upstairs. Um, his other two keypads were acting as sirens at the front door and the garage door, the other two points of entry to the house. So you had uh, Annunciation upstairs in the, in the master bedroom, and then you had your front door garage door. Um, so we're really just right now connecting in the siren that's upstairs. Um, once we get everything connected, if that siren is not going to be loud enough, we can always add in an extra wired siren, um, a 712 or a 702 are nice loud sirens. Um, those are Honeywell model numbers. Otherwise, we can go ahead and add a uh, wireless siren. Might, might make it a little bit easier. 5800 Wave, that one just simply plugs into an outlet. But uh, we're, we're going to deal with getting all the zones connected, keypads, and then we'll, we'll look at that later. So now that we have our AC power and our siren connected, the next thing we want to do is our keypads. Um, because the Apex keypads, the Destiny keypads, have six connectors, we want to go take a look at our keypads and see, um, identify which wires these are so we know which to land to for power and, and data on the 21IP. So uh, we'll take a short break here. We'll go over and take a look at the keypads, and we'll be right back. We've got our wires. We have written down which wire is going to what at the panel. So I know that my blue wire connected to my red here is coming from the negative ECP terminal or the ground of the keypad bus on the panel. I know that my green, which is connected to purple, is to my ECP positive terminal or my aux power. So this is plus and minus. Um, for power to the keypad. And on the keypad itself, you've got this strip of four screw terminals. You've got negative and plus in the middle, and you've got your data, you've got your green and your yellow on the outside. So, again, we got blue going to ground, uh, green going to aux power. We've got our green and white, which is to purple, coming from our green. So that's going to go to our G. They conveniently labeled the, the datas as green and yellow. And then finally, I've got my yellow wire. Um, I did my best to, to keep it easy. So yellow connected to white is going to go to yellow. 